Hey guys, it's Sam and welcome to today's cozy little vlog. I'm so excited because this video is just going to be filled with good vibes and spooky vibes, which is like my favorite things. So I thought we would chat while I get ready this morning, kind of talk about a lot of different things, but mainly about this video and halfway to Halloween and everything like that. So. I've already done like two halfway to Halloween videos, so if you haven't checked those out yet, make sure to do so. I will put a link somewhere up here in the corner. Um, I did a Michaels video with their new spring Halloween type collection. It's called the Nevermore Collection. And then I did another video about like 90s nostalgic Halloween movies from Disney Channel. And I just ranked those, so. If you haven't checked those out, make sure you do. Um, if you like all things spooky, then you should like those videos. But today we're gonna do another halfway to Halloween video, except this one is gonna be more so just a cozy vlog. So I'm super excited about that. And while I'm doing my makeup, which I'm not doing very much of, but with what I am doing, I thought we could talk about some of the halfway to Halloween releases that we've seen so far. If you don't watch Jade the Libra, then you definitely should, but she does like Halloween and spooky stuff year round. And she has a Facebook page, the Halloween Forever Facebook group. And I always love that page because I get little sneak peeks of things that are coming out and I don't keep up with stuff like that, so it's nice to have a group that does it for you. I also wanna do some honorable mentions because if you clicked on this video, you're obviously looking for some fall vibes and videos, and there's been so many creators that I found recently that I really like and have watched to kinda of get that feel of Halloween during summertime. I just recently started watching Pumpkin in Grey. If you haven't checked her out yet, make sure to do so. I love watching her videos. They're just so like comforting and they're like such an easy watch. Like there's something I would like, turn on while I'm doing dishes or something. I also just recently discovered Scaratonin. Um, her name is Taylor here on YouTube. Another one I watch is Staying Spooky. And she also posts videos year round, 365 days of like spooky stuff. And of course, Jade the Libra that I mentioned earlier. And then another person that I watch is Daisy Luna. She makes, um, she has just like a dark aesthetic and does like Halloween videos. And I've been rewatching all of her Halloween videos because you guys, I'm just so excited. I know I shouldn't rush, but. <laughs> If you like Halloween, then you know. It's just something you look forward to year round. And as soon as it's gone, you're like, dang. I wish it was uh, still happening, but. If you're looking for some short form Halloween content, I do have a TikTok that I'll put right here on the screen. And I've been posting a lot of halfway to Halloween stuff there as well. Sometimes I post stuff like that to YouTube shorts, but not always. I typically just post it to TikTok, so. But yeah, I've just been in such a creative mood Halloween-wise and halfway to Halloween-wise. I'm just like, I've never been a summer girl. I don't like dislike summer, but fall weather, fall activities, Halloween, Thanksgiving, all of those things. It's just my favorite time of year, so. And there's so many other YouTubers on here that I follow that also do Halloween stuff. So those are not the only people who make that type of content. If there's any that I missed that you watch, then leave it in the comments because I definitely want to check them out. But yeah, I'm just doing my makeup so I can have a bit of a foundation and base for the day. I don't like wearing a lot of makeup on the weekends. It is currently Saturday, so I'm just putting a little bit on to look more presentable than I did. But let's talk the Halloween, halfway to Halloween, Halloween drops. How many times can I say Halloween in this video? Don't take shots because you will end up in the ER. But I wanna talk about the halfway to Halloween drops that stores have been coming out with, which I think is so freaking cool. I wish more stores would do it, but it's definitely more than I've ever seen before, like Lowe's, Home Depot, and Michaels. And I know Hobby Lobby, they don't sell Halloween stuff, 
but they sell fall stuff and they have fall stuff out already now i haven't gone and looked at that but i do plan to at some point so if you want me to make a video about that i can just let me know i don't know if that's something you all would be interested in or not but i do know from multiple different people that they have halloween stuff out right now or fall stuff don't get excited <laughs> So Home Depot, which is known for their 12 foot skeleton, they have come out with a halfway to Halloween drop. And I'm pretty sure they did this last year too. I actually purchased the 12 foot skeleton. I think it was a year ago. I think when it was the halfway to Halloween drop. And then I ended up returning it before I even like received it because my house is not very big and we do not have like any storage and I was like talking to my fiance and we were like where are we gonna put this like we just don't have any room to store something like that and we're not gonna keep it up year round so we really just were like maybe maybe when we upgrade houses one day <laughs> then we can buy a bunch of those but for now I'm not gonna get anything that big I did get last Halloween this like five foot skeleton I think it is it's an animatronic from Target absolutely love that animatronic and I'm so happy I bought it it was around $200 and there is a TikTok of it and if I can remember to put it somewhere over here then I definitely will but I'm sticking to the smaller decor pieces until we have a bit bigger of a home or we have more storage but anyways off topic <laughs> but Home Depot they had a a few drops actually and I'm gonna pull them up but they did have the 12 foot skeleton released again and I'm actually gonna go to their Instagram because I know that they posted something on Facebook about it but yes so I will put the post that they had on Instagram on the screen and it says mark your calendars for tomorrow April 25th in honor of halfway to Halloween they basically were having an un not an unlimited they had a limited drop it included the skelly dog inferno deadwood skelly and frankenstein's monster and those are all new drops and then they also had the 12 foot skeleton i believe up for sale and like i said i don't plan on getting anything except small animatronics for now until i have a bigger home or more storage but i still love seeing it and i still get really excited when i see things like this drop so it was still exciting to look at online. So the Frankenstein, the Skelly Dog, and the Inferno are all new. They used to have the Inferno skeleton and he was a pumpkin head. And I like that one a lot better than this year's drop. But I think all of these are around like two to $400 in between that range. I do think the Frankenstein one is really cool. And I feel like for the price, I feel like the price is really fair. I know some people might disagree, I'm not saying it's cheap, but I feel like the price is fair for something that large. However, when you get something that big and you put it up, if it rains, it's going to ruin the animatronic. Um, that kind of happened to me last year. I didn't see rain in the forecast, which pretty usual. The, the weather where I live, it just does whatever it wants at any time of day. <laughs> but... It started raining on the skeleton I had and it wasn't just like a sprinkle it was like side raining like the wind was pulling it to the side and even though it was under my little porch it still like got ruined but I was able to dry it out for like two weeks I had to take it into the garage and I dried it out but it did end up working again but just a fair warning like if you get these animatronics and it rains on them like they're not gonna work so that is one downside if you're in a place where it rains a lot and in a place like where I live where you just never know what's going to happen. That's a downside. <laughs> but yeah, so that was Home Depot's drop. Home Depot and Lowe's are two of my favorite places to Halloween decor hunt because I love the animatronic selection. Even if I don't buy them, they're still fun to look at in store. And I feel like Spirit Halloween, I love Spirit Halloween but I think they only have like a few animatronics on display at a time. So that was Home Depot's launch. Typically too, they have more in the Halloween time than what they just show for the halfway drop, but I don't know, I could be wrong, so. And then Lowe's, Lowe's came out with a halfway to Halloween line. There's a clown animatronic. There looks to be a lot of Wednesday animatronics, like Wednesday herself and I think Thing 
dropped as well. Like, I don't know. They have a Wednesday collection apparently. And they had quite a few things to drop actually. They brought back the 12 foot scarecrow, which I love so much. I really want the 12 foot scarecrow because I saw it last year and I was like, I am obsessed with that. But again, not right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go on their website now to see if they have anything still available. <gasps> They do! Okay, so they have the lighted animatronic scarecrow, which is the one I was just talking about, for $3.99. That is pretty high. Then they have a few other animatronics for sale. I don't know if these are old or new or what, but they have a few things on Lowe's. So both Lowe's and Home Depot had a Halloween, halfway to Halloween drop, which was so exciting to see. I know Home Depot has, has been like the original but it's just exciting. More people are catching on and more companies, so. The next one I'll talk about is the Michaels drop. The Michaels drop, I don't think was considered like a halfway to Halloween, even though it kind of lined up perfectly timing wise, but that was the Nevermore collection, which I won't talk too much about, but pretty much it's based off of Edgar Allan Poe and like Wednesday the show. So I did do a video on that, it's my last video. If you can see, probably not, I have two little books in my coffin shelf that I got and those are shown in the video as well. But that video basically talks about everything that Michaels dropped for that line and the price of everything. If you're interested in that, check out that video and I will link that on the screen as well. But yeah, it's just been so exciting seeing so many people do these halfway to Halloween drops. It just, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm currently wearing my Halloween shirt, which is like one of my favorite Halloween movies. I really wanna watch it today, we'll see. We're gonna watch some sort of spooky movie. I just haven't decided which one yet. Well, I'm drinking my coffee and it's just black, but I'm using my little pumpkin mug and I'm a caffeine addict, so we may go to Dutch Bros later. One thing I wanted to talk about, I got my engagement photos back. So I took my engagement photos this past weekend, a week ago on Sunday and I finally got those back. If you are interested in seeing those, I do have them up on my Instagram and I will put my Instagram on the screen as well. I feel like I'm promoting a bunch of different stuff but I just had so much to talk about and so many things to share with you. So if you're interested in seeing the engagement photos and how they turned out, they are on my Instagram. The plans for today are watch a spooky movie, get a coffee, and live our best lives and have a little spooky spring day. I always forget when Bath and Body Works comes out with their fall and Halloween stuff. So I think I'm gonna look at my video from last year to determine when that was. But I did a Bath and Body Works haul last Halloween. But this year I'm gonna do like a video full of sneak peeks, I think. So basically like this store plans to come out with this or like these are leaks from Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works stuff always gets leaked. I don't know who is out to get them, but whoever it is, I appreciate it because I always like the heads up on if I'm going to like the line or not. And it's just so exciting to talk about. We may go to Hobby Lobby in this video. Who knows? We don't know where the day is going to take us, but I'm excited for it. All right, you guys, I know the angle changed, but I finished my makeup and I have my little trick-or-treat bag from Bath & Body Works last year. I love this bag. I keep basically all my hand sanitizers and hand sanitizer holders in here from Bath & Body Works. So I thought we could pick one out to put in our car. Our car. We share a car now apparently. I'm going to change the lighting first. I have so many of these and it just makes me so happy looking in here. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna go over the pocket back holders first. I have this little latte one, pumpkin spice latte. I think this was from two years ago. It was not in last year's collection. And I think, I like hoard these little Germexes and like, I'm not even kidding. Like I have some from 20, like 13 probably. I have this little witch hand. I love this one. I think it's so cute. And this was from, two years ago, I think. I don't think this was last year, was it? I don't know. I love this one though. This one is so old. I have a little black cat pack, uh, pocket back holder. I wish they had the years on these. If somebody knows the year of this, please let me know. I am so interested to see how old that is. 
I have this one and I love this one so much. It's a little ghost pocket bag holder and I have treat yourself marshmallow pumpkin latte scent in this one, which I have a bunch so like I can change it out, but this one's so freaking cute. They had this one for two years in a row, so it must have been really popular. I'm still going guys. <laughs> I have this little spider one. I love this one. It's like spider webs. You might be able to see it better on this side since it has the white label. And then there's a little pumpkin that lights up, but I think I need to change the batteries in it. And I got this one two years ago, I think. And it has like the lanyard on it, but I always take the lanyard off. I'm just not a lanyard girl. Now, I always thought it'd be cute to wear those to like a haunted house. So then you have a little light. I have this one with a hair tie attached to it. It's a little skeleton and this one lights up too. Ooh, and this one's not out of batteries. And I'm pretty sure this one glows in the dark. But I have vampire blood in this one. Y'all, I collect these like it's nobody's business. I'm pretty sure I have more, but that's all that's in this bag. I have two spray hand sanitizers that my mom got me for my birthday. And I haven't used them because I'm so afraid that I'm not gonna be able to find them again. I love that they've come out with this little mini spray hand sanitizer though. I prefer a spray hand sanitizer and the perfect pumpkin. I went through one like so quick. So I'm just scared to get rid of my last one. <laughs> and then my Germex options. This is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. This one's actually really old. It expired in 2023, but I still use them. I don't think anything happens. And then I have Two Gourd to be true. This is pumpkin apple. And then I have Girlfriend. So I think I'm gonna keep my sprays. Right now I'm in between these two. The little witch hand and the ghost. These are my two options for today's joy ride to get coffee. Um, I could do like a spring germex. I have these that I just got from the Bridgerton collection and I made a video about that too. If you want to see what I got, I could put one of those. So then it's like spring -oween. Okay. I think, oh, I don't know which one to do. They both make me so happy. But I am going to take, I'm going to put the Danbury shortbread from Bridgerton in my ghost because I feel like that's cute. And then I'm going to put the Wisteria Garden in the witch hand because it's purple so it kind of fits the theme. Now I just got to decide which one I'm choosing. All right, I'm going to decide and then when we get in the car, you'll see which one I picked. <laughs> but let's go ahead and go to Dutch Bros. I think we're going to go there and then I might hit Hobby Lobby while I'm in town in the area. So we will see.